a scary scene this afternoon in parts of Metro Detroit. A storm quickly turned deadly after a tornado touched down with no warning. Tonight we have live team coverage. Next weather meteorologist Ahmed Badji has more on the tornado and why there was no warning. But we'll start with Luke Laster live in Livonia where the storm turned deadly. Luke, what can you tell us right now? Shane, I'll tell you what, it's dark outside now, but this neighborhood is night and day from what we saw earlier. As you can see here behind me still, police and debris on the ground from that tornado that touched down here, ripping through trees, branches, flying through the air, and even taking the life of a two-year-old child. I actually saw branches aloft, hundreds of pound branches aloft. And I said, this has got to be a tornado. And it was. Winds, the National Weather Service confirmed at an estimated 90 miles an hour, tore through Castle Gardens in Livonia. I've been here 35 years. I've never seen a storm come through like this. Uh, it's devastating. It's horrible to see. Amidst the uprooted trees, one taking the life of a young child. Livonia Fire Chief Robert Jennison sharing the news of an uprooted tree crashing into a home in the 14,000 block of Houghton Street, crushing a mom and her two-year-old son. And fell into a house, into a bedroom area, and landed on a bed where a mother and a two-year-old were sleeping. Jennison said it took airbags to help lift and remove the debris around the two. They were able to extricate them. The mother was transported in critical condition to uh, St. Mary's Hospital. Um, the two-year-old that was lying beside her had succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene. Jennison also says a two-month-old baby was in the home. That baby is safe, but was transferred to the hospital for precautionary purposes. Now you could see the sadness, the exhaustion, and just about every other emotion that you could think of in Jennison's eyes when he was telling us this news. But as for the cleanup right now, it's just community working with community and getting this debris cleaned up as soon as possible. In Livonia, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit. Just devastating, and it came as such a shock. Thank you, Luke.